Hey guys, Red Llama here. So in today's video, we're going to take a look at how to get started mining Furo. So we're going to look into a few different things. Getting a wallet set up, getting that wallet secured, and then looking into HiveOS to get this started on both LHR cards and non-LHR cards. So before I get into all of that, I do want to talk about this channel. This is a channel that I created, Red Llama Crypto. It is getting some traction, so I appreciate it if you guys support this channel in any way. We're getting up to one, almost 2,000 subscribers. I'm thinking in about the next month we'll be there. The watch hours are coming up close to 4,000 watch hours, so hopefully soon this, this channel will, will be monetized. But let's get started right away, guys. All right, so this is Firo.org, and this is the website that they have for the wallet and other information associated with the cryptocurrency. Just listening to DJ Mind's uh, live stream with the co-founder, it, it definitely brought on some interest onto the project from, from my side. And I'll put a link in the description how to get Firo. So most likely when I click here, it's going to tell us different ways to get a wallet. You can get a wallet here, you can buy Firo, you can start mining, or you can earn Firo. Let's start from the very beginning as if we're getting started, which we are. Uh, click on get a wallet. These are official desktop wallets that they have and there's official mobile wallets. Let's download QT for Windows because it is a high security option out of the other three. So go ahead and do this. We'll download the EXT file. We'll click on it and it says, oh, what what is this? Protect your PC. Well. Let's run it anyway, and don't blame me if anything does happen on your side because cryptocurrency softwares have always been, they're not really vetted out by Windows and everything like that, so this is do at your own risk. And then we get the, the Furo set up, hit next, put it into your C drive, I could put it here. But I prefer to put it in a location where I have access to all the wallets. So I'm going to put it under this location. Hit next. Hit next and install. That's it. So we're going to put it in this location instead. Hit OK. And then we're going to get this create or recover wallet passphrase. So we're going to choose create new wallet. We're going to use a 24 passphrase. All right, so we get this uh, Windows security alert will allow access to it. This is going to take a while. See, it's going to take five years and 20 weeks behind. I'm just kidding. It's not going to take that long, but uh, it's going to take a while to, to sync up everything. And you can just hit hide for this. You don't need to. And we're all set. We have a wallet ready to go. Now, there's a few things that you could do here. You can encrypt it. You can you know, encrypt the wallet. You can do all sorts of, sorts of things. But... I think the first thing we want to do to set up a miner is we want to go to receiving payments for, for this. So we're going to call it this uh, miner and we're not going to put an amount. We're going to say Furo and message will be test. And there we go. We have a wallet set, set up now. We can copy it and put it into HiveOS later. All right. So we're back in HiveOS now. We have four rigs here we have one rig on windows which is not showing up here but what we're going to do is we're going to take little llama and we're going to modify this so we have a flight sheet ready right now with uh, eth and alf on it we're going to change this to be mining zero instead so the way we would do this is we're going to set this up flight sheet for uh, a new miner so what we would do is we would go back or we go here flight sheets we put Hero in here. Hero, oh, we have to add a wallet, and we would show the wallet, copy the address, go back here, and drop the address. We're going to call this wallet Hero. That's because I will change it later on. And source, we don't need to do this. We don't need that, that, no, no. Okay, great. Next, uh, I do like two miners for a pool. Select this moving forward and then choose the location since i am in the u.s with a gpu i'm going to choose this hit ok and then next uh, i'm going to choose tux miner because i feel like that is a better option at this point with the cards i have here i don't have uh, amd cards on this rig 
put on llama so the video is what we're going to be using here and then that's pretty much it i mean we can go to the, the setup here and see what, what the options there is uh there's nothing that we have to change here so we can hit cancel and we will create the flight sheet but before i do that i want to give this a name hit create it's created now let's go back to the miner not sure about the overclocks that i have to use for this so i am just going to go ahead and use the existing overclocks i do have uh, everything connected in a safe manner so if it does pull more energy to it or power um, it's not going to burn out the cables let's try it out let's go to Firo, test watch it now i should actually restart the rig all right guys so it is now mining so on the gtx 1660 ti we have 9.6 mega hash on it 1660 super we're getting 7.1 mega hash and that that is a hynix memory gpu there so i would have assumed that a super would have been doing a lot better than the the ti but it is the vice versa on that one and on the 30 3070 ti we got 27.82 mega hash on it i honestly thought this would be flipped we'll get more mega hash from the super but yeah that's that's how it is uh not bad i mean these are the overclocks i have right now but if we want to do this on windows and there is a icon for start mining on this website we'll click here it gives you a how-to guide on how to mine it you can read through this and get more details about how to all right so the first step we have to do is download a miner so we are going to go ahead and download T-Rex Miner since we already did it on HiveOS. We're going to download the, the latest version, which has been released in the past five days, which is T-Rex 25.8. We already have this one we're already downloaded from our previous video. So we're going to go ahead and actually get it set up this time. All right, so we have it open after we downloaded the, the latest version from GitHub. This is the, the win.zip file that we have downloaded. And we're going to look through and look for Firo. There should be a batch file already created in the past. So we do see one. It's Firo, dot, um, well, Firo to miners. We're going to go in here. We're going to edit this. And we can see the location of this. But uh, one thing we have to do is we have to update this location or this pool location. So the way we would do this is we would copy this address. We would open up a new browser, go to that address. And then we scroll down to Firo, click on Firo, and then we would go to Quick Start. And over here, it would give us a location of different, different pools. So what we want to do is we want to choose the US one for GPU mining. So we would just copy this address here. And then we would go back to the batch file. And we would see that it is choosing Firo europe just from the this command here so we could see it's this one but we want to switch that out for the u.s location so we'll just drop this in here and now next what we have to do is change the wallet address you would copy this original wallet address and you would put in the new wallet address but be sure to keep in the dot rig zero in here because that's a rig name here you change that or to get rid of that i don't think it's gonna work so after you've done that change you can hit ok or close this out hit save go back to this location where you have downloaded the miner and you've updated it and you can double click it and run it all right so there we go it is mining now we have a we're doing this on a different pc by the way we're doing this on a windows pc that has a 30 80 full hash rate card and also a 30 60 version 2 uh, nerf EVGA um, RTX card and we could see that the hash rate on this um, 3080 right now is 34 and the hash rate on the 3060 is about 8.9 uh, these are not the greatest overclocks please do not copy them and just for those who want to see those overclocks uh, these are the overclocks I have right now for the 3060 and for the 3080 as well. But again, 
there's probably a lot better <laughs> overclocks than this, so don't don't follow that. But yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Um, that's how you could set this up to mine Furo. And then the way you would do this to check profitability or what you're actually mining is you would go back to uh, two miners since we've chosen that. And we would just drop in the wallet address here and search for it. Now we could see that I have two workers on it. This little llama is the one we had tested with Hive OS. Rig Zero is the one we just did recently with Windows. So we can see that they're both registered to here. The little llama is turned off right now. And Rig Zero is currently hashing away right now. And you can see that the average is low. And the reason is because this average is taking over a period of, I think, a, an hour or so. So this is something that's going to be low initially but just make sure you follow the current hash rate and then uh yeah this is this is going um what we're estimated right now is two dollars but this is gonna increase because it's still i think this goes off the average and uh yeah that's pretty much it guys it's uh it's going we can also another thing we could do is we can go to what to mine so we would look over here and look at Hero Power, Hero Pal, which is right here. And what we do is we could just hide all this stuff here. And since we know where our hash rate is, which is with these two cards, the 3080 and 3060, that's a 42 mega hash or 43 mega hash. So we could just plug that in here. And those two cards are taking, I would say, I just put 300 for now. It's probably incorrect, but. And then we could scroll down and we can see that we're going to be doing about two dollars a day with these cards and then uh because my electric cost is high uh 17 cents it'll be a dollar a day on that so that is what the profitability is looking at right now i know at this point the market is down so we'll we'll see how this turns out over time but it is almost getting half more than half uh a euro coin uh per day so all right guys so that's the end of this video hope you appreciate it please hit the like button on this subscribe if you want to see more content like this and i'll see you guys in the next video